Hello students, I am Arpita Paul and I am back again with a new video. Today you will learn some more operators in Java. In my last videos I have explained some operators. You can check the video links below in the description box. And so let's start our today's class. So here comes the next operator that is increment operator. Okay. So it is an unary operator used to increment the current value of variable by adding integer 1. So basically increment operator is used to increment the value of a variable only by 1. Okay. And it is called an unary operator because it works on only one operand. Okay. It is denoted by plus plus sign. Okay. Double plus sign. There are two types of increment operator. First one is pre-increment and the second one is post-increment. And what is the difference between these two? In case of pre-increment, the value is first incremented and then it is used inside the expression. Okay. Basically, the value, whatever value we have assigned to a variable, in case of pre-increment, the value will be incremented first and then it will be used in the expression. How it looks like? See, int y equals to plus plus x. So, first we will assign a value to x and then in case of plus plus x, the value of the x will be incremented first and then it will be used in the expression. Okay. In case of post increment, the value is first used in an expression and then incremented. Then just the reverse one. We will write like this, int y equals to x plus plus into y equals to x plus plus that means the old value is used in the x and then the value will be incremented after the execution okay this is how the increment operator works now coming to the next operator that is decrement operator it is same like increment operator but it is used to decrement the current value of variable by subtracting integer one so, it is similar like in increment operator, but it decrements the value. Same way, uh, increment operator increments the value of a variable. It decrements the value of the variable same way by 1 only. It is denoted by minus minus sign. Here also, it is two type, pre-decrement and post-decrement. Here, in case of pre-decrement, the value is first decremented and then used inside the expression and denoted like this int a y equals to minus minus x that means the value of x will be decremented first and then it will be used inside the variable inside the expression okay and in case of post decrement the value is first used in an expression and then decremented and it will be denoted like this int y equals to x minus minus that means the value of old value of x will be used here and then it will be decremented okay this is how the decrement operator works now coming to the next operator that is logical operator. So basically purpose of the logical operator is to compare more than one conditions. That is if we need to execute certain block of code if and only if two conditions are satisfied then we can use logical operator. So basically to compare two expressions we will use logical operators. Okay. So, what are the logical operators we have? You can see in the table. See, these are the symbols of the operators, name of the operators and the examples. Now, see the first one is ampersand ampersand and here it is called logical and operator. So, logical and operator means here both the conditions should be true to make the output true. How it works? See, I am uh, giving you one example. If I say three values A, B and C. If I give you three values and I tell you to find the largest value among these three values, then how you will find? If the value of A is greater than B and the value of A is greater than C, then only A is the largest one. See how I have written here A greater than B and, and A greater than C. So, both the conditions should be true. A will be greater than B and A will be greater than C. If both the conditions are true, then only the output is true and that output will be A is the largest one. In such cases, we will use AND operator. Okay. Now, coming to the next one, this is called logical OR operator. This symbol you will get in your keyboard just above the ENTER key. Okay. 
and in case of or operator if any one of the condition is true then the output is true how it works see in uh, like my name okay like vowel checking in my name there is a vowel so if the vowel is written in the capital letter or in the small letter in both cases it is a vowel okay so we are checking the character is in capital or the character is in small then it is a vowel for vowel checking we will use logical or operator okay now coming to the third one that is exclamatory sign and it is called not operator okay this exclamatory sign we have already used in the relational operator which i have explained in my last video so please check it and basically this sign is used for negation checking or for complementing the value for this relational operator checking we will use this not operator okay here i have given one example a not equals to b okay so these are the commonly used logical operator this we use in java program also okay now coming to the next operator that is conditional operator this is also called ternary operator okay and also question mark colon operator we can say now why it is called ternary operator because it works on three arguments only okay so how it looks like let's have a look see we will write the operator using these three expressions how expression 1 we will write then separating with question mark we will write expression 2 then separating with colon we will write expression 3 so what are these expressions are representing the first expression represents the condition part that means we will write the condition here which we are uh, going to check and in expression 2 we will write the statement for the condition part if the condition is true if the condition this condition is true then only it will go to expression 2 and in expression 3 the false part that means false part will be written that means if the expression is false then it will go to expression 3 let me show you with one example how it works okay so here i have declared two integer type variable one is flag and another is x and i have assigned the value 10 to x now i have written flag equals to x greater than 0 question mark 0 colon 1 that means if the value of x is greater than 0 then the value of flag will be 0 and if the value of x is less than 0 then the value of flag will be 1 if the condition is true then the output will go to this part if the condition is false then the output will go to this part so here you can see i have already assigned the value of x here the value of x is 10 that is the condition x greater than 0 is true yes of course 10 is greater than 0 so what will be the value of flag value of flag will be 0 here okay this is how it works this is how the conditional operator works and it is called ternary operator because it acts three operands at a time condition part true statement part and the false statement part so these are the popular operators in java and how to use these operators in program that i will show you in my next videos so until then stay tuned subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the notifications thank you class